Get in, top of the league, lads. Who would have thought it, all right? Yes, it's only seven games in, but first time since Sir Alex Ferguson retired, top of the league. And do you know what's amazing in this game? Anthony Martial didn't even score, yet still got man of the match. That guy's quality is unreal. But anyway, on to the game. Again, it took so long for us to like create something, but I suppose this is how we're going to have to get used to it with Louis van Gaal. He likes his possession, his slow build-up play, but when the goal came, we started pushing forward a bit more, and it was really, really good, but the goal was well worked. Um, it's a great, great pass from Daly Blind, who is definitely our most underrated player, and it's fantastic. It reminded me of the goal against Newcastle, where I think Mata puts it into Falcao, and Falcao uh, passed it across the box to Rooney, and he tapped it in. This time it was Blind to Mata. Mata passes it into Memphis for his first Premier League goal this season. Brilliant, just before half-time, exactly what we needed. Then literally right from the off, 36 seconds in, I think, of the second half, or 38, something like that. It's another brilliant piece of play, and Martial beats a couple of players, manages to get the ball across, and Rooney just knees it in for his first goal in 11 Premier League games, I think, or 12, whatever it is, his biggest goal drought in the Premier League, yet he's still scored five for us this season. All right, that's in all competitions. He's our top scorer still. So getting Waza, gotten, getting a lot of criticism this year, but he's broke the England record and he's already got five goals. So, you know, he's doing all right as a team player. Yes, he needs to do a little bit more, but it'll come, all right? That's his first Premier League goal, finally. And then later on, Sunderland having a couple of uh, half chances. I think Jermaine Lenz forced a great save from David De Gea. A couple more scrappy corner, etc. that David De Gea had to save. But he's finally got his clean sheet uh, in the Premier League. It's about time because he really, really does deserve it. And our defence hasn't really been too bad this season. But yeah, the third goal arrives and it's in the form of Juan Mata. It's a gr is it Martial who creates this or is it Darmian? I can't remember. No, it's Young actually, is it? Young drills the ball across. Mata's in so much space and he, he just smashes it in. It's a typical goal from Mata. I think that's four goals for him and four assists. If you look at our front four, in all competitions this season, you've got number seven, Memphis, on four goals. You've got number eight, Mata, on four goals. Number nine, Martial, on four goals. And number ten, Wayne Rooney, on five goals. And Mata's also had like four assists. You know, Martial got an assist today. Should have had two when Memphis was played through. Poor finish. The thing is with Memphis, he's trying too hard. He just needs... All right, yes, he can do great things, and that's brilliant, but not every time, all right? Do the simple things as well, but he learned that. It'll come. He got his first goal, etc. He still played really, really well, but it's just a couple of decisions. He needs to get better at his decision-making, but that'll come with age. Martial already looks like an experienced 38-year-old on the pitch, so, yeah, that's fine with him. Great performance, top of the league, really, really... Um, excited like now our next game is away to Arsenal now that is a key game to decide whether we actually are title challengers if we can get a win against Arsenal that's three of the top six defeated this season and obviously Man City lost two in a row against West Ham and Spurs so I'm on a high as I'm sure every single Manchester United fan is getting glory glory Manchester United